to your online art song experience, sponsored by Andi Music. The name Andi Music in English means to music and it comes from the Schubert song. Our aim is the education, promotion and performance of art song. My name is Louise Scott and I'm the founder and artistic director. We've produced short movies with just one song. It contains the translation or the words in English, a short ad hoc discussion by the artists and a performance by them. You can contact us through the information at the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching. I'm thrilled today to have with me again the wonderful baritone Adrian Tamburini and we're going to be talking about Schumann's song Widmung. Hi Adrian. Hi Louise. Lovely to have you nice here today. Nice to be here again. Yes. So uh, um, I first encountered this song many many years ago when I was at the conservatorium and I was playing for singing lessons of a, a soprano no, actually, I think she might have been a mezzo contralto. Um, her name was Dorothy Helmrich, and she was a very old lady right. at this time. She was teaching singing, and I used to play. She used to schedule this piece with her students, mm -hmm. and whenever I I played it, she would always say to the singers, "No," because she had learned it in London with George Henschel, who was a baritone and a composer and. Uh, wonderful pianist and uh, she used to say no 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 you have to have this break it's before the last section comes in and there has to be a clear break no sound and she drilled that into the singers and of course I'm sitting there and I'm getting it drilled into me as to what to do and I've always played it like that since so this is in the music when the original when the first melody comes back in at the yes, end of the song at the end towards the end of the song when the first melody comes back, this wonderful sweeping melody of joy and elation that is there because it had to do with the wedding. And perhaps you might like to say something about the wedding. Well, isn't that the most incredible wedding gift to ever receive? I think yeah. I would have loved to have been Clara Veek, oh, yeah. as she was. Uh, having, uh, having my fiancé write 26 songs, love songs essentially, yeah. uh, as a wedding gift. Uh, but Wiedmung being the first of the Mirten, the, the 26 songs that Schumann wrote in the wedding gift in this song cycle, is just such exuberant, effervescent, absolute joy. You can hear the relief that um, you can hear the relief that he was feeling when finally Clara's father gave them permission to get married, can't you? Yes, well, he kind of, I'm not sure he gave permission. He wasn't very happy about it at all. And he and, <laughs> he and Clara were estranged for quite a number of years. Right. But he had, he had nothing, there was nothing he could do because the court had ordered it and Clara turned 21. That was it. Wow. Day, just, I think it was the day after she turned 21, they got married. Bang. Wow. Well, nonetheless, the, the the absolute joy in this love song is so beautiful. Oh, it's infectious. It's really a wonderful song. And it's it's about devotion, of Robert's devotion to Clara. And it contains so many little um, nuances, I call them, or, or uh, inflections, music, parts of it that actually were between them. He would have explained them to her as to what this meant or these notes meant or what have you and he had a theme um, for her and he used all of these throughout most of his works yeah. that were because Clara was obviously the love of his life and Robert was her love 
and uh, so it comes through absolutely wonderfully in this song. As a singer, it's impossible to n to not hear Robert's voice in the poetry, even though he didn't write the poetry. Mm. And it's so hard for me uh, picking up this piece to think that another poet had actually created the poem. So that it's a Rukert's it's a Rukert poem, but Robert had read it and must have loved it so much that yes. he just took it and he created, gave it its own life, really. Exactly. Uh, and it's um, from a singing perspective, it's uh, it's you can't not smile when singing this song. We're not right. actually feeling a true sense of joy and love, unadulterated, beautiful, romantic love that they yes, feel. Yes, it is. It's a very, very romantic song and a wonderful song. Yeah. And uh, I love. Uh, the ending of it is is rather different because from all of this exuberance and joy and wonder, it ends quietly. And I've always wondered why was this so until recently. And, and in fact, um, in looking at it, I think that the left hand part in the piano is more signifying Clara as the underpinning. And then there's a melody of Ave Maria in the right hand and I think that's the perhaps the the wedding or the the merging of someone who is wonderful and heavenly yeah well exactly <laughs> with, right with who Clara is so then yeah. Clara becomes the kind of the uh, epitome of, of the, the virgin or, or just uh, the, the most amazing virtuous woman yes, uh, yes. Yeah, but while also in the left hand, yes, yes. Uh, kind of being his grounding and his mm. reason for living. Mm. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's an extraordinary song. I really love it. Want to go and sing it? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, my God. 